He sent a whole truckload of these to uh, about, I don't know, a thousand of these too. Oh, these are Bible pillows for the kids up there. Uh, we got Noah's Ark and stuff. So, <clears throat> um, and then we got the bed pillows and we had uh, we had just heard that they, you know, they're going to be there for quite a while. And even if they're, whatever they're trying to do in Ottawa right now, you know, it is what it is. We're going to, we're going to get the pillows to them. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Trump's most ardent supporter, the My Pillow Guy, and that tells you a lot right there, was turned around at the Canadian border as he was attempting to join the Ottawa trucker protest. Canada's Border Services Agency was tipped off as to his arrival by his own idiotic social media posts. The same day, a truck carrying 10,000 of his useless pillows, including 1,000 Bible pillows intended for the trucker's children, were also prevented from crossing the border. And that, of course, could be fully justified on grounds of preventing children child abuse alone. Mike Lindell is a pariah. He will attach himself to anyone or anything that will further his cause. Right now, his cause is twofold. Stay out of jail and avoid the mountains of lawsuits he is facing by Dominion. He is cooked, by the way. His lawyers are desperately trying to settle, and Dominion has told them to all go pound sand. And does it surprise anyone that Mike Bell tried to spread his crime streak up to Canada? The My Pillow guy has, of course, spent $25 million of his own money pushing the big lie, which is shocking because I can't believe people actually buy that cheap useless crap from these late night infomercials. You know, you're watching some really lousy programming when the ads are of magic air neck uh, pillows, red and green toilet seats, and sauna pants. Not only does Mike Lindell have a useless product that is literally no different than any other pillow, he makes a famously annoying host who will immediately remind you where the mute button is located on your remote. Trump and the My Pillow guy have near identical business models that they also carry into every other facet of their lives. Do absolutely nothing tangible to help society, sell hollow and utterly useless concepts that are nothing but scams and con suckers into investing into your BS. So of course they believe the big lie had a chance of working because both these guys have been living and selling lies their entire lives. I mean, Bible pillows, come on, what's the point in that? Osmosis? Now that's a great microcosm of their scam here. They can't have their customers thinking too much about things. It only takes about a quarter of a second of rational thought to see through the big lie. So they want to catch you up in your little tender emotions so they can prey on your stupidity. That's why Lindell and Trump just love seeing bigotry, hatred, and ignorance spread rampant. That's their market right there. Stupidity is literally their business. This childish freedom convoy is essentially a moron magnet, a nice convenient spot for shysters like Lindell to find a smorgasbord of saps dumb enough to buy anything he's selling, whether it be Bible pillows or just plain old outright lies. These ignorant truckers participating in the Ottawa blockade no doubt think getting a vaccine, even though every one of these morons has had plenty of vaccinations throughout their lives, is getting the mark of the beast. They might as well write stupid on their forehead plain as day so their fascist antichrist can see them. These folks are too stupid to see any different. They're too pig-headed to listen to common sense and too much of a crybaby to care about anything beyond their selfish concerns. All people like Trump or Lindell have to do is say boo or socialism and they have these poorly educated people eating right out of their hands. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.